So 99% of people don't realize what is coming because what we are now facing is a massive crisis. And the news that came out today is shocking. I'm gonna break down what's going on in just a moment. All I ask is if you can spend just two seconds, go ahead and hit that like button and let's begin. So all across the world, we are facing crisis after crisis. We know Ukraine has an issue with Russia. Israel and Hamas are still at it. We got humanitarian issues all over the place. We got Iranians or Iranian-backed groups that are attacking United States troops and military bases overseas. That doesn't even address what is happening here on U.S. soil. One of the big issues right now is a government funding bill. This bill has to be passed by January 19th and February 2nd. This bill is going to have a few things in it that are going to impact the American people. And most people don't realize what this is going to mean for their future moving forward. Here's what I'm talking about. 74% of Americans in a new poll support more funding for border security. Do you know who opposes additional border security? The Democratic Party, particularly President Biden. He's all for security, but taking money from other priorities that he has or not going deeper into debt is something that he is saying right now we have to go deeper into debt. We have to tax the American people. We have to do all these things because Republicans want stricter border policies and Democrats don't. Democrats want more people coming into the United States. Well, this is turning into a major issue. And now we're starting to see some say that President Biden has to get real on border security in order to pass aid for Ukraine and to keep our nation safe. Get this. Democrats say they're all for border security if they can see more money go to Ukraine. But they want to be the ones that are dictating what the legislation looks like for border security. And that's where Republicans say, no, that cannot happen. So in this upcoming government funding bill, which has to be passed by the middle of January, one of the key points in it, the key pieces of legislation is going to be going towards border security. You wanna know why? Well, it has to do with the amount of people that are coming into the United States. Look at the report that we got this morning. Border Patrol is sending migrants to an unofficial camp in the California desert, according to locals. There's even pictures. You wanna see some pictures? I'll show you some pictures. It's actually pretty sad. This is in the United States. Look at this, okay? This is right off the highway, okay? This is a camp in Jucumba, California, right? How, how sickening is that? We also have hospitals that are starting to fill up because the people are falling off the wall, which we've heard is unclimbable. However, we see it's definitely not. We also know right now that in New York City, busloads of people are getting bussed in. Every single week, busloads of people. And now the mayor is saying that no more. We cannot house all these people. We're gonna have to cut police funding, school funding, infrastructure um, you know, projects. We have to cut these because that's where we're pulling funding from. You know what else New York is doing? Look at this. New York City is gonna limit migrant family shelter stays to just 60 days. So if you came in Let's say into New York, you came into a family shelter, let's say the beginning of October. You got October, got November. So in December, your family is getting thrown out on the street. That's what's happening. That's happening as we speak. And even the FBI director, he says that border gotaways a source of a great concern, according to the agency. Great concern. This is one of the reasons why the risk here in the United States is at all time highs. Because we don't know who has come into the United States. We don't know who is here. We found about 200 uh, terrorists on the terrorist watch list, or people on the terrorist watch list, 
that we've sent back, that we've stopped. But we don't know how many people have actually got away. There's hundreds of thousands of people. Now, I want to read you a few things, okay? In the poll uh, that says 74% uh, support more funding for border security, there's some other numbers in here as well. And I want to bring this up because of what is coming up in the future, that is the government funding bill. I want to read you this. We'll sh I'll show you this as well. It says, meanwhile, 58% of respondents said they support more funding and humanitarian aid for Gaza, while 55% said they support more funding and military aid for Israel. 55% said they support providing more military aid to Ukraine, and 53% said they back giving more money to Taiwan's military. All key points in the upcoming government funding bill. Now, why does this matter? And why do I say 99% of people don't know what's coming? It's actually pretty simple. It costs money to house immigrants, illegal immigrants. Let me explain. In the start of 2023, okay, these are numbers. These are, these are facts here. The net cost of illegal immigration in the United States at the federal, the state, and local levels was roughly $150 billion, okay? This is the net cost. And I say net cost because of this. Then the reason why they're coming up with these numbers is because they're taking tax revenue from all the illegal uh, immigrants, which is about $32 billion. So they, they are still paying something. And they're subtracting that from the gross negative economic impact of illegal immigration, which at the start of this year was $182 billion. That's why we're getting a, a uh, net cost of about $150 billion. Okay, so every single American, every single American taxpayer is going to pay roughly $1,100 per year because of illegal immigration. Now, I bring this up because I've had many discussions over the past you know, few months with people saying that they're all for you know, what we are doing, that we are, we're the, the nation. The nation is doing exactly what it should be doing. Everyone is looking at us like that's what we need to do. We need to open up our borders a little bit. We need to allow more people in. We're not, and I'm not even going to go into the numbers here, but the amount of fentanyl coming into the United States, okay? The illegal drugs coming into the United States, it, the numbers are up there. The economic impact is huge. But again, the reason I bring all this up and what's shocking about this is that, and Democrats know this. Right now, Congress is on recess, but very soon Congress will come back. Okay, in the next week, Congress is going to come back and they're going to have these discussions. Do we pull money from other key priorities such as food stamps, affordable housing, okay, school, right, education? Do we pull money from the military budget? Do we pull money from Social Security, the IRS? Right? Where do we pull money from? Or do we just continue to keep spending? Or do we increase taxes? And Republicans have said they can stand behind a small increase in taxes. However, it would have to be across the board. We're not just going to tax the wealthy. So what's happening at this time is Republicans and Democrats are going back and forth as to how they we're going to solve all these problems. But one of the big problems is immigration and border security. President Biden knows this. However, according to some, he's yet to do anything about it. So what's going to happen? And you can, we've seen it before. We saw it last week. We've seen it a month ago when lawmakers were trying to pass these, these government funding bills. What ends up happening is they all look at their priorities and the two big ones. Right now, there's money for border security. There's you know changing the border uh, reform, and then we have money for Ukraine and Israel and Gaza. That's for Democrats. So if Ukraine and Israel and Gaza want more money from the United States, border security is going to have to be in there. So we're going to see what happens moving forward. As always, as I know more, I promise I'll come back on and share all the latest news and updates. But that is what we know at this time. So again, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. But again, thank you guys for watching. 
consider subscribing. I'll see you guys on the next one.